All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are. This is Miss B again, back with story time. I have a special helper with me today. This is my son, his name is? Ethan. Ethan, and so we're going to read this story today. This story is called, hold up the bad seed. The Bad Seed. It is written by Jory John, illustrated by Pete Oswald, and I do have permission from the publisher to read this story to you guys. So, let's get started. Here we go. The Bad Seed. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds, they look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes that bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really wanna know? I really wanna know. Do you wanna know, Ethan? Of course. Exactly. Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands, that's gross. Or my feet, that's gross. Yep. I lie about pointless stuff. He's blaming that on the cat. That's just rude. That's just rude. I cut in line every time. That is very rude. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family. Seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped and our flower drooped. The seed went <laughs> Okay, got it. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Everything went dark and then, and then a giant. I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! But I was spit out at the last possible moment. <laughs> there he goes. I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay. But something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care, and it suited me. Until recently. I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad. But I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I forget to listen, and I still show up late. And I still talk during movies and I do all kinds of other bad things. But I still, but I also say thank you and I say please and I smile and I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. 
And even though I still feel bad sometimes, I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking, maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I, I heard, heard that. that. <laughs> the end. Wow, yeah. So, oh. just remember, just because you make some bad choices, it doesn't make you a bad seed or a bad person. I still believe in you and care about you. So, when we have story time next time, we're going to read the second book in this series. It is called The Good Egg. There he is on the other side. The Good Egg. And then the next time will be the third story. I don't have a stuffed animal for this one. The Cool Bean. These are all by Dory John. I hope you enjoyed our story time today, and we will see you again soon. Bye, Carol Colts.